This is Witchspace News for Friday the 2nd of August 2019 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the Enclave updates ...Commander Machine releases his latest video ...and the Danger Zone hosts its first SRV race. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings and community events and if you want to help support the work of this channel then you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds are in the description below. And if you've got a piece of elite related community news that you'd like us to feature you can email us via the Burr Pit Dot newsdesk at gmail.com The ongoing interstellar initiative, the Enclave, got an update on the official forums from Will Flanagan this week detailing where we're at and what the current goal is. After the discovery of a new source of meta alloys in the Witch Head Nebula and the scrambling of multiple mega ships and Acela starports to the area, the Thargoids, unsurprisingly, wailed on the newly established superpower assets like a 9 year old boy on his birthday pinata desperate for his latest sugar rush. Humanity's always reliable independent anti-xeno pilots flocked to the area in response and delivered the abrupt but succinct message that humans were here and were staying. With such a colossal meeting of heads and carapace collateral damage was inevitable and with the exception of the planetary base of Jack Rock Outpost with its oh so handy shipyard all the starports in the region have been nicely char grilled by the green menace and are now offline pending repairs. And therein lies the challenge ahead of us. In order to secure the meta alloys we need the starports online. To repair those starports requires a gigantic amount of shipped in resources. To bring in those resources requires in some cases an 1800 light year round trip according to Operation Ida the player group that attempts to coordinate such things in a cargo capable vessel. 1800 light years is a long way in a cargo ship. A really really long way. Whilst Ida have proven numerous times in the past that they are more than capable of such things they also have a list as long as a gibbons arm of stations in the bubble that are much more easily repairable and are not currently at least being added to by the Thargoids usual weekly schedule of station barbecues. Ida have publicly stated that they are going to continue to focus on the bubbles problems while the Thargoids are absent and I honestly don't blame them. There are no newly attacked stations this week which means that the team at the post disaster evacuation service currently have no rescues demanding of their time so they have stepped up and pledged to do what they can for the Witch Head Nebula. But they also admit that it's unlikely to be enough to get even one station online. They're not really equipped for this task. So it remains to be seen what happens to the stations down there and what the Thargoids and indeed Frontier do as a result. The latest episode of the comedy series Machines for Hire by Commander Machine went live on YouTube this week. If you've not seen the commanders videos before I urge you to take a look. It's ingenious stuff and it involves a fair few community names in the voice acting and amazingly shares a universe with the work of other creators on YouTube such as Turgeon Starstone. Kind of like Elite's own version of the MCU. The ECU. Can we say that? Somewhat cheeky humour, genuinely funny, charming and technically oh so very clever you'll find links in the description below and remember to subscribe to Commander Machine's channel to see episodes of the show going forward. In case you've not seen it we maintain a list in the description of every video we produce that links to other great elite content creators. Do please check it out. And finally as you may have seen from our video earlier in the week Last weekend saw the inaugural Scully Powers 500 surface installation SRV race hosted by the Danger Zone Galactic Archive Discord run by Commander Mad7. The event was very much a toe in the water test case for the race but even with limited pre exposure it was a resounding success and huge fun for all involved. To get a feel for what went on check out our footage from just one of the races. 
Our understanding is that another event is now in the early planning stages and that we're likely to see more of this in the future. As a side note we were remarking in the Burr Pit household this morning that the tagline for Elite has always been blaze your own trail and events like the Bucky Ball races, distant worlds expeditions, speed bowling and now the Scully Powers 500 are just fantastic examples of how the community can pick up that ethos and really run with it or in some cases sprint with it into the distance laughing maniacally like a crazed baboon. I'm looking at you primetime casual. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>